All right, what is up all you beautiful people? Today I have a very special video for you. I am going to be ranking my top five movies of the year. It's a little bit of clickbait, gonna be honest, uh, because I didn't watch enough movies that I liked this year. So I'm actually gonna be doing my favorite movies and a couple of my favorite TV shows of the year. So I believe there's three movies and then two TV shows that we're gonna be ranking right now. So let's just get right into it. Number five, House of the Dragon. Um, this show delivered everything that it needed to deliver for me. I was having such a good time watching it. It was so fun to come back and be able to be excited to watch a show week to week again and talk to your friends about it and just be excited to bullshit and have that, uh, what's it called, water cooler talk. It was, God, there was so much coming out of that time too because I think Andor, the Star Wars show, was coming out at the same time. And then there was House of the Dragon and then there was Lord of the Rings. And I think that there were like, Black Panther or something came along in the same, that same time frame. There was there was a lot going on when House of the Dragon came on. So it was, it was, I remember missing a few weeks just because there was just too much to watch and I kind of forgot. Number four is gonna be Top Gun Maverick for me. This, I mean, it's not as sneaky and as surprising as my first movie, as my number one, but this, this was one I was not expecting. I, you know what? I still don't think I've seen the full first Top Gun. I only watched a review on it, so that's the only context I knew about it. I've watched parts of it, but I didn't realize that until just now. I only saw Top Gun Maverick with just, with no knowledge, just from hearing about the first one. And man, that movie was an adventure. I saw that movie twice in theaters, actually, which is not something I was expecting to do. And I had such a, such a good time. It was really tense. I, the action was just amazing. Tom Cruise, Scientology ass, killed it is him as psycho as he is he him doing his own stunts and i think the dude's 60 now it's it's just it's just ridiculous and that movie surprised the hell out of me For number three we have avatar 2. now this is another one i mean obviously this is my first video on my youtube channel was me reviewing avatar 2 so you guys know if you've watched that it'll be linked at the end here if you watch that video that i posted that i fucking love that movie that was another one that was like, it's weird because I knew that it was gonna be good and that I was gonna at least like it, but I wasn't expecting it to be like a top tier movie for me this year. So Avatar 2 coming out and surprising me and somehow being more beautiful than I expected it to be. Like I said in my review, I'll, I'll post it, but I don't wanna dwell on this one for too long since I already have a video, but the story was fine. Damn, it looked beautiful. It kept me interested the entire three hours and 12 minutes or however long it is. It worked out for me and then it holds my number three slot. Number two. It was kind of weird because you kind of forget what comes out in the year by the time you get to the end of the year, like everything in the first like probably quarter of the year to the first third of the year, I kind of just forget about. So when I was doing a little bit of research and seeing what had come out this year and that I, I saw that Stranger Things was on there, like I just totally forgot that that came out, but I fucking loved that. The season, God, what season even was it? Season four, I think. Man, that show. I don't know. I know some people have their ups and downs with it, but man, I love that show. That's It's going to be one of my favorite shows of all time for sure. I don't remember as much from it as when I first watched it because all these other movies are things that I went and saw recently. It's how it always is. Holidays come around. It was really good. I love where they're taking the story. I love that they had all the different planes of existence with all the different people in different areas from being in Russia and L being around with whatever the stupid, weird, creepy papa guy and then all the other kids. Mike, man, they were yeah, I think there's probably like four or five different locations of people doing stuff in different areas all at once. And then I love a good payoff of a good culmination of everybody coming together and then fighting the big bad guy at the end. You know, it's just it's fun to watch. And I'm, I thought that this the whole time, too, I thought that this was the last season. So when we got to the last couple episodes, specifically the last episode that was two and a half hours long, I thought that it was ending. And then when it ended, it was like oh, this, there's more coming. So we have another season to look forward to in Stranger Things. I think it's actually confirmed from when I just Googled this that it's actually gonna be the last one. We'll see, because I thought season four was gonna be the last one, but Stranger Things, amazing, top tier. My number two, and then for my big, most surprising, number one spot is Violent Night. So I'm actually probably even gonna have to put up a little, a little picture, no, right here on this side. I'm gonna have to put up a little picture showing what this is, because I bet, 80% of you won't even know what movie I'm talking about, but this is a sa violent Santa Claus movie. So it's a gory, bloody action thriller comedy Santa Claus movie. 
Uh, and this movie, I wanted to do a review on this one, but I think this will just be my little mini review is talking about it on my uh, top five ranking list. So I'm just gonna talk about it here. So, oh, I gotta tell you who the main character is. Santa Claus is David Harper. I think this is the first time I've seen him in something other than Stranger Things. And man, he, he holds up. He carries this movie like a boss. It's so good. It, it's basically a movie about a really rich family who is having Christmas there. They're all disjointed. They all kind of don't really get along. They all don't like each other except for like one direct family of a wife. Uh, the son and his wife and his daughter. And they're even estranged a little bit. I think they might not be together. I don't know. They don't go into it that deep. It doesn't matter too much. But they're super rich and they have a fortune in a bank vault. And on Christmas night, Christmas Eve, they get robbed for whatever amount of money in there they got 300 million i don't know basically a giant security swat spec ops guys come in and try to steal all their money and santa comes down the chimney to deliver them some gifts and ends up having to get into a fight with one of these guys basically the whole movie just carries on because he sees a little girl and he feels sad for her so he's got to go in there and help her so he basically ends up taking out god it's got to be it's got to be like 30 40 50 guys and there's a little bit of, there's some Home Alone references in there, which are amazing. It's basically like rated R Home Alone. It's amazing. It was so good and horrifying. The comedy in it was surprisingly good too. I couldn't believe how much I was laughing in the movie theater. I think it's a relatively short movie too. So the time just flew by and I had a damn good time. They have a little, some weird things where they're like mentioning some potential like Viking lore because he's Saint Nick obviously so he used to be a Viking they don't really explain how he became Santa Claus he keeps mentioning how he doesn't understand all magic and whatever works but he's been Santa for I don't know a thousand years 1500 years there's gonna be a little bit of spoilers in here but he ends up getting a hammer because that's what he used to use back in the day when he was a Viking and just murks all these guys with a sledgehammer it's absolutely ridiculous and it's cheesy in the best way possible <laughs> it's, I just really enjoyed this movie and it was a sleeper number one movie on my rankings this year. And with that, that's gonna be, that's gonna wrap up my top five rankings of movies this year and TV shows. See where we go from here. But yeah, so I'm gonna link my Avatar 2 review. Give me a like, subscribe, and peace out.